This morning we are gonna go thrifting. <laughs> Some of you will know, based on my other videos, I am new to this area in southern Utah. Unlike the rest of Utah, which is ridiculously cold this time of year, St. George is actually pretty moderate. It's a little chilly this morning, but I'll be shedding this jacket very soon. Due to the moderate temperatures that you'll find here in St. George, I have a theory when it comes to thrifting that I'm excited to explore this morning. This is my theory, guys. There are a lot of elderly people, a lot of retired people, and I have a feeling that a lot of the yard sales will be estate sales, um, will be older people trying to eliminate some of the junk that they have accumulated, and that means a pretty good chance that we'll find some photo gear. So, uh, so this morning I'm gonna test that theory. I have like 15 to 20 yard sales that, that have been advertised online. I'm about to hit my first yard sale of the morning. It's about 8.30 a.m. It's gonna be a long morning. I might, you know, I might not find anything. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Is the dog for sale? Just kidding. Um, for a million dollars, yes. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, cute guy. What does he think of all this commotion? <laughs> striking out. I learned from my buddy Azrael Knight, who is a lot better at this than I am, that uh, you should always ask, always, always ask if they have photo gear because a lot of times they won't have it out for whatever reason. So far I'm zero for five, but uh, I'm not, I'm not ready to give up. But Azrael's channel, you sh if you like this sort of thing, you should follow it. He's got, uh, I'll link to his playlist. He's got his series called The Picaratsu. I don't know, it's something about watching photographers buy old photo gear. I kind of geek out on it. If that's not your thing, you know, you should probably not be watching this, but uh, I like it. I have got a good uh, easy camera to use, easier than. <laughs> what do you, you, you have I just a, have a Canon uh, power shot. Oh, I'll, I'll look at it. Yeah. Where is it? He got, he, it's over here. It's a very loved. Power shot SX110. Um, these were going online on eBay. The lowest one I saw was 40, 15 bucks. What I really want to do is give it to one of my sons who's been wanting a digital camera. And this is this is not a bad little point and shoot. So uh, yeah, I'll give it to him. I love that it runs on AA batteries too. That's uh, that's actually really handy at times. You don't have to deal with any strange adapters or strange uh, battery types. I don't know anything about the Pentax A3000, nor do I know anything about the Calamar 28 to 105 variable aperture lens, but for five bucks, I'm taking them. I just hope there's no like, I didn't sit there and inspect the, them actually very well, but it looks like it's in phenomenal shape. Well, what <laughs> about this motor motorcycle? Oh, do you know my brother-in-law would give his eye teeth before you get uh, that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, that's you a know, beautiful. So that is it guys. There's actually maybe like, there's probably maybe 10 more on my map that I, I didn't get to, but it's starting to get later in the day. Everything's picked through, but that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. You know, it's kind of like fishing, right? If you want fish, you go to the restaurant or you go to the store and you buy fish. 
but if you want the experience of catching a fish, you go fishing. So that's what this is like. It's kind of like fishing. I don't remember how many stops I made, but it, it was quite a few. And uh, was it worth it to pick up, you know, a Pentax A3000 that I don't know anything about? Um, a Canon Power Shot and uh, you know a couple other things that we needed for the house anyway. Was it worth it? For three hours of photo gear hunting on a Saturday morning, my time could have been better spent elsewhere on paper, but I had fun and uh, I think I would do it again. So that's all for now. I do want to end with photography though. I. I don't think, uh, I, don't, I don't want to ever do a vlog where I'm not showing you something that I'm actually creating. So, with that in mind, I am going to take that Pentax A3000 and make sure it works. And assuming that it does, I'm going to go out and get some photos today sometime. I don't know where, I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. So, stay tuned for that. Well, not only does this Pentax A3000 work, but I rather like it. It shoots an aperture priority, which is usually what I shoot when out and about anyway. But instead of an exposure compensation dial, it has a backlit subject button, which compensates for backlit subjects by a stop and a half. Sort of cool, and it makes me want to take this out on the streets. So I loaded it up with some cheap Kodak Gold 400, and I took it out with my kids to the park to run a roll through it. But although the camera seems to work great, my color development process was broken today. I think it was a combination of lazy C41 development and old chemicals. But either way, the negatives came out underdeveloped, had some strange color balancing issues, and were streaky. Could I have taken these photos with any number of mirrorless cameras I have? Could I have snapped them with my smartphone? Of course. But film introduces randomness and the crazy gritty character that I love. Even when I totally mess it up, I still love it. Most legitimate photographers would say these were ruined, but for me, they are beautiful. Of course, I love digital when I want reproducible, predictable, and high quality images. But when I'm in the mood for random, unexpected, or the type of photos you could never reproduce on purpose, and dare I say, artistic, I love shooting film. Is it Lomography? Am I a hipster? Will other people not get it and say mean things in the comments? Yes. Yes to all of those things. Do I care? No. Long live film. I'll see you again real soon.